We've been brought here to this secret location towards Ukraine's northern border with Russia in a highly mediatized operation. We've been brought to meet two groups, the Freedom of Russia Legion and the Russian Volunteer Corps, who participated in the spectacular incursion into Russian territory in the Bolgorod region. And they've been telling us uh, some details about that, although it remains shrouded in mystery. It's really unclear just how much support the Ukrainian authorities gave them. They've publicly denied any direct support, but there's so much we don't know about how this incursion happened. It's the first known joint operation involving these two Russian paramilitary groups formed in Ukraine, both ardently anti-Kremlin. The first goal, we want to stop war in Ukraine. The second goal, we want to change Putin's regime. We want to free our country. It's our business, our own Russian business. Civil war. Showing off what he claimed is a captured Russian armoured vehicle, the highly controversial leader of the Russian Volunteer Corps, Denis Nikitin, hailed the operation as a communications success, brushing off questions about his far-right roots. They never concealed our, so to say, ideas. So we're conservative, traditionalist, right-wing. I don't think there's a problem. I don't care how Russians would call me. They keep on calling us names, traitors, Nazis. Neo-Nazis, actually, to be, to be correct. So, should we care? The implications of this incursion could be far-reached, as well as any military impact. It could have a psychological impact, too, perhaps sowing panic in Russia, creating chaos. That's what these men hope. But it also gives the Kremlin an argument to say that Russia is a victim in this war. It also could divert Russian troops away from uh, other frontline areas in Ukraine as they prepare their counteroffensive.